Hi everyone, welcome back to so another video of my business studies, um, or at least the way I present it to you. Um, we're going to conclude market research and today is uh, a section on the cost effectiveness of market research. Okay, so we've got a bit of a, quite a bit to remember when we talk about market research, what it means, what is it used for, you know, how to analyze the information and the various methods of market research. Today, we're going to look at why business conduct market research. Yeah, so there are businesses who conduct market research because they want to develop a new product or a service. They want to improve their product and services. They want to find out what is the gaps in the market, what is not there yet, you know, so that they can create it and, and you know, uh, evolve and become better at competing and making more money for themselves and of course to make the world a better place. But then there are businesses who choose not to conduct market research because they want to just keep on producing what they have been and perhaps they're more product oriented, yeah, looking at their own internal resources and what they can do. They think that there'll always be a demand because maybe the products are looking at more of a uh, a need, you know, like food and clothing and things like that. So there'll always be sufficient demand for it. And of course, they want to keep costs low because generally cost for market research could be expensive. Yeah. Now, let's look at the cost effectiveness of market research. This means like, you know, how much money you spend on market research and whether or not it's going to be, you know, really effective or a good use of money to conduct market research. Now, um, it's a general knowledge that market research costs could be very expensive because you are collecting data firsthand, you know, to, to find out what's not there. So you may sometimes involve uh, research firms or consultants to help you carry out your market research because you may not have the expertise in it, but perhaps by doing so, it could be more of a quality or uh, uh, research of quality because these are being handled by, res uh, by experts. So because of this, some smaller companies may not be able to afford such market research. They may just look at secondary research where, you know, looking at data that's already available and just try to make sense out of it and create something from there, you know. And um, another thing about the cost effectiveness or whether or not money is being spent, companies avoid going into this because it, it is costly. At the same time, they don't know, um, you know, what if the, the results of it is one, but the sales or the effect of the whole research is not as great as the amount of their money they, that they spend on. Right, so perhaps having a good measurement in place in terms of what is the before results, what are you looking for, what is the after results, where is the gaps, what is the improvement for the next market research. So, in other words, if companies have funds to really spend on market research, they should be able to do that. You know, taking into proper measurements in place. Um, smaller companies may want to go into it as well if they do have the amount of money, but if there is no measurements of, you know, really looking at the research properly and seeing whether it's really effective cost-wise, business-wise and so forth, it may be a futile approach. So there you go. Uh, we've covered that part and we have one, two, three questions here for you to test out. The two reasons of why market research is important, why market or why companies are not conducting market research and if you think that all businesses should engage in market research. We have come to the last slide which is basically our closing and um, hope you're able to follow the last part of market research today. We're going to start with marketing mix in the next video. Till then, talk to you soon.